Yeah. YouTube, 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 YouTube. You already know what's going on, man. It's your boy Cito BK Fly, Mr. Big DFA in the spot. Shh. Don't make it hot. Hey, yo. So look, man, I want to talk about New Yorkers that move to other states. Because right now I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, right? And I'll be hearing the um, Atillians, right? They always say, yo, you out of towners be coming into the city and messing it up. It's New Yorkers too. A lot of New Yorkers be coming down here and messing vibes up and doing all kind of crazy shit. Yo, let me tell y'all something about some Brooklyn man, right? Or some New York man. Nine times out of ten, bro, New Yorkers, if you from Brooklyn, NYC, if niggas move out of town, bro, it's it's really to better they self or better they situation. So they we y'all we don't be on no type of nonsense. You feel me? When niggas make a play like that, niggas trying to elevate. Now for the New Yorkers, Brooklyn man. Who come to the state and be on badness, doing all kind of weird, stupid shit, just getting into all kind of fuckery, like how we would say. I'ma tell you, dumb niggas is snitches, snitches, rats. Niggas probably got ran out of out of the towns. You know what I'm saying? They can't make a fool, can't live. They got fear for their life because they did some fuck shit. So now they come to a whole new city and. And and they just press and they just press the reset button and act like they wasn't a snitch in the town. Like you wasn't getting on stands and saying, he did it. It was him. It was all his idea. Yeah. When niggas from the towns come out here and they be on fuck nigga timing, I'm telling you, that's what it was. They couldn't live back in the towns. They couldn't live back in the towns. Niggas run them out of the spot. Now they come to here and start acting like they got a new life. So y'all really got to peep it, bro. Some niggas just be on bozo timing, bro. But you can't put all of us in the same category. Because me, I am definitely not a snitch, not a rat. I didn't get ran out of my my state. <laughs> Man, I deal in them business, dog. Man, I do them things. Nah, mm -mm, mm -mm. me, I don't do this. I don't do this, especially in no courtroom. <laughs> I know a lot of niggas. I know a lot of niggas that, boy, they can't make it back in their city. So they run out of here. They run. They run and go other way and act like whole different type of vibes. Niggas want to be kingpins in other cities. Don't even know. And the niggas in the city that y'all click up with, y'all don't even know that y'all dealing with a snitch ass, red ass nigga. But y'all in business together. You see what I'm saying? Should be crazy. But yo, I just want to go. I just want to come and say, listen. I'm not one of those New Yorkers. I'm not one of them Brooklyn niggas, man. I know dumb type of niggas be giving us a bad name, but listen, I'm, I'm here to restore the order, man. I, I stand on business, you heard me? I came out here for a better situation. My daughter, better school, better schooling. They got lockers. Her school look like a, 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 a campus. Like it's the Degrassi or some shit. That's what I've been like. Oh, niggas got lockers and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no lockers in no school. The only lockers we had was in gym. And it was in the basement. And niggas still broke into them shits anyway. So nobody never left nothing in there anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, New York is just a whole different dynamic. And I knew I wanted to give my daughter a better opportunity. Better opportunity to come out here and see something different. As well as myself, looking, for, I came to do look for a, a, a better opportunity than what I was doing in, in the city. I didn't get ran out. Nobody ran me out. I didn't fear for my life. None of that. 
I ain't come down here to be on badness timing. And it's crazy because when I'm out here, I feel the love. I feel the love, man. Everybody's cool, well, manly, like, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. And another reason why I know it's like that because everybody out here got sticks. So you can't just walk up on a nigga like back in New York, niggas ain't really had no sticks like that. So if somebody talk crazy, you could just, you know what I mean? One time, lamb. You ain't got to worry about no get back. Maybe later on, but by that time, you already gooch. So, but out here, niggas start talking crazy or whatever. You can't, because you're going to do, and the niggas are going, boom, boom, boom. So everybody acts according, and that's what I like, man. Everybody be on their behavior. Of course, there's places where it's, uh, don't go there because it's going to jump. But majority, once you manly, you shouldn't have no problem, man. But it's a light convo. You know the Chronicles, Steve Valley Chronicles. I always got to talk to you. I'll give, give you my feedback on how I think about and when I come on these things, I don't got no script, no pen, no pan. This is strictly off of the dome, you feel me? But I woke up thinking about this, so I said, let me drop it, man. But it's your boy, man. Sleep so BK fly, Mr. Big DFA in the spot. Shh. Don't make it hot. Clip back.